Hey, hey, Jakara Lewis here, and I am the author of the Kisses Series T7 Math Edition, which is the workbook that I created in order to make math super simple for you guys. So today I want to touch on a frequently asked question that I get all the time, and I'm so sick of saying the same thing over and over and over again. So I decided to record a video. So the frequently asked question is, how much time should I spend preparing for the T's exam? How many hours should I study a day? How many hours should I dedicate each week? How much time should I spend overall in preparing for my T's exam? And today, I'm gonna give you guys all of the tips and tricks and answers that you are looking for. So when we talk about preparing for the T's exam and how much time that takes, that's definitely gonna be individualized to you, but I'm gonna give you guys all of the small things that you need to focus on so you know exactly which path to take for you so that you can ace the math portion of the T's exam. Before we actually get into the specifics of your time constraints for the T's exam, I just wanted to throw a small disclaimer in there. And I want you to know that as you're getting ready to prepare for your T's exam, you have to understand that your study plan is going to be individualized to you and what score you need, your strengths, your weaknesses, and so many factors that go into it. And what I have found over the years is that there are tons of people who are giving advice, especially right here on YouTube. And they're saying, oh, you should do this and you should do that. But they pass based on what they needed for their program. And that may not mirror what you need for your program. So you want to make sure when you're going into the situation and you're preparing for your exam, you need to do what works for you. You need to do what's based around your strengths, around your weaknesses, around how much time you have to prepare. And sometimes that looks a little bit more individualized. So keep that in mind as I give you guys all of these great tips to help you get started. First things first, you need to get your feet wet. So what do I mean when I say get your feet wet? You need to transition yourself into actually preparing for the exam because some people are not coming fresh out of classes. It's been a while since you've seen the content and you don't want to overwhelm yourself really quickly because it makes it so much easier for you to feel overwhelmed and for you to feel defeated. So when you baby step, what does that mean? Introduce yourself slowly into the concept of studying content, reviewing content, preparing for your exam. So I would say just take three or four days your first week and just study for 60 minutes for each of those days and what that does is it gives you a clear idea as to how you operate within those 60 minutes you know are you tired are you stressed easily you know are you able to get a lot done in a short period of time you just kind of want to gauge where you are it also gives you a chance to look at what your strengths and what your weaknesses are so you can better plan as you transition into actually setting goals while you're preparing now that you've gotten your feet wet, you want to transition into actually setting goals. So, of course, the main question of the video is, how much time should I spend preparing? And me personally, as an instructor, I don't believe in time-based studying. I'm more of a goal-oriented studying instructor. So what does that mean? That means that we set a goal for the day or for the week, and then we work towards that goal until we have shown some type of improvement or until we have some type of data to show that we've accomplished that goal. And that looks different for every single topic. The reason why I don't recommend certain periods of time is because everybody changes based on whatever topic they're reviewing. So you may be looking at fractions today and fractions may take you two or three days to actually grasp the concept versus rounding the estimate and that may take you an hour or two so that's what i mean when i say goal-based studying you have to tailor the time based on where you are in reference to a specific topic now that you have an idea of what goal-based studying is, you'll adjust your time as you transition between the different sections as well as the different topics within each section. And that just comes with practice. You have to learn yourself. That's one of the things that I preach all the time, especially as you guys are gearing up and going into nursing school. You have to know yourself as a learner. You have to know if something's going to take you a really long time, if it's something that you can do in a shorter period of time so that you can properly prepare. And one of the things I always recommend Recommend is that you give yourself at least six to eight weeks to prep for your exam if possible because then it gives you time to make the adjustments you're not rushing you don't have to study every single day you can create you can create a plan that actually works for you but when you do goal-based studying you will adjust once you have learned your strengths and your weaknesses because you know all of your weak areas may take a little more time and you need to give yourself that time versus your strengths or maybe things you can kind of brush off and knock off really quick now you've made it all the way to the end of the video and you're like she didn't even tell me how many hours a day I need to study and the reality is that that looks different for everybody there's no one way to say how people should prepare for the exam because you guys all require different scores you guys have different strengths and different 
weaknesses, you know, and most importantly, everybody has a different time frame that is available in order for them to prepare. So you guys want to make sure you take all of my tidbits that I told you guys today. You want to make sure you get your feet wet. You need to assess what your strengths and your weaknesses are in that first week. So do some type of diagnostic, some type of practice exam. So you can literally say, this is what I'm good at. This isn't what I'm good at. And then based on what I'm not good at, I need to build a study plan around that. And it needs to be goal-based so that I can give myself time to learn practice and review so that ultimately I can retain. The problem is that everybody's trying to cram. Everybody wants everything quick and easy and simple. And it's not always like that. And you'll learn that as you're preparing for your exam. So of course, if you need extra assistance, my T7 math workbook is the perfect resource for you while preparing for the math portion of your T's exam. It includes three different calendars, four weeks, six weeks, and eight weeks, just to help you to be able to break all of the content down based on how much time you actually have to prepare. Every single topic, like literally everything you guys need to know for the math portion of the T's exam is broken down in here um, with step-by-step -step examples and nothing takes more than three steps to learn. And each of those examples comes with an in-depth video tutorial by me so you guys can get all those tips and tricks that I left out of the book. So if you know that you need help prepping for the math portion of T's exam, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to adjust your time, you don't know the topics, this is definitely going to be, going to be the perfect book for you. So you you guys want to make sure you run and don't walk to the link below so you can grab your copy. Thank you guys so much for your time today. I hope I was able to help you guys to see how much time you need to prepare for the T's exam.